Just like regular shoes and boots, skate laces need to hold your tongue in place. This is where lacing can get a bit tricky, since the top of the skate often wants to loosen up instead of staying tied down. To make it easier, loosely tie the laces all the way to the top first. Then using two fingers, one from each hand, start pulling the laces tight from the bottom up. You will need to maintain a little bit of pressure on the laces you have just tied as they will loosen up. Properly tied laces can affect how you skate as well as how much support your skate gives you. Take your time and do your best to keep your laces tight as you tie them further towards the top. If it takes you two or three times to get your laces properly tied, that's perfectly okay. It's important to make sure you always tie your laces right to the top, since this gives your ankles more support while skating. If you have extra lace left over, you can wrap it around your ankle before tying the knot. Some players like to tie the knot first, and then also wrap a few rounds of tape around their ankles for added support and protection. Also, if you need added support because some kids' ankles just naturally want to bend in towards the ice, there's a skate tying trick that can provide even more added support. Instead of crossing your top two eyelets, the hole the laces go through, go directly up to the next eyelet above to create a loop with the lace. Then, bring the laces from the opposite side through the loops and pull. You will notice the laces are now pulling the boot much more tightly around the ankle. Your skate should never hurt your feet when lacing them up or when skating. If this happens, your skates are either being laced up too tight or your skates are becoming too small.